Now it's in my first video when I was talking about things to take with you when you go metal detecting that might come in handy. I showed you some tape. Uh, the white tape was normal electrician's tape. But the black tape, which is here, yeah, it's a bit special this one. You might have heard about it, you might not. And it's called self amalgamating tape. And I'm not saying that again, no. But this is really good stuff. Uh, if you, I'll, I've took a piece off actually to show you. This is it. It comes with a backing to it, like a plastic backing. It's basically like a silicone rubber tape. But the reason I carry that with me is if I get a nick in the cable on the uh, detector, all right, you can put ordinary tape on it to stop any water maybe getting in. But if you got this, use this stuff. Or if you haven't got this, I suggest maybe getting some. You can use it loads of things. Uh, I used to work for a aerial installer. I mean, he calls the silver fox or foxes. I see Terry's 71, I'm 62, and we went to a job, well, a couple of months back, when my knee wasn't too bad, and the fella said, I don't mean to uh, be funny, but I knew he was a bit old to be doing this. <laughs> anyway, we had a good laugh about it. The poor bloke thought he'd phoned the wrong number. I think he thought he'd phoned the... Uh, old people's home and he'd sent a couple of residents around to do a job for him. Anyway, I ended up I ended up actually getting a field off him at a horse field, seven acre field, to do me detecting in. Anyway, just a, a little couple of tips here. Uh, I phoned him up, this uh, person, I said, it's all right if I come over. This was about a week after we'd done a job. He said, yeah, no problem. He said, by the way, he said, my brother-in-law's moved the telly for us into another room. We didn't touch the telly, by the way. We were doing a satellite outside. He said, but the pitch is in and out, in and out. I said, well, I'm coming over to Metal Detector. I'll have a look. And I just want to show you what we come across a lot of times uh, when we're out, or when we should say when we used to be out a lot, uh, doing aerials, repairs and all that. I'll just show you now. I went over and uh, first thing we always do is go behind the telly, pull the coax cable out and inspect the cable. Now we found this 70% of the time. Sorry, things are dropping off They're all over the place. Can you see that? So, oh, there we go. I'll take this off, it'll be able to see it better. The outer braid on this cable is actually basically wrapped around the inner core of the cable. Well, that's going to cause loads of problems. And this was the problem at this... Uh, man's place where I go to detect him. So anyway, I'm best showing you really. <laughs> Don't mess about trying to peel the door back and that. Just cut it off. A knife. I'm gonna make sure I don't cut my fingers off there. Yeah. Doing a couple of things here. Yeah. And and just turn the cable, snap it, and pull it off. Now this outer cable, braid, make sure that is pulled right down and there's no braid sticking up. Put your knife again, 
leave about an eighth of an inch of the inner plastic push down turn the cable twist and that comes off this bit on here because a lot of people do this they forget to put that on first always slide that over your cable first right your next thing on is your clip push that down squeeze together sorry about this I'm looking at what I'm doing not looking at the screen on the camera so you like that no inner braid going up touching uh, no outer braid touching the inner core next is the inner connector slide that over and this one don't worry about this sticking out doesn't it doesn't cause any problems or anything it's just that outer and inner that's all you've got to worry about and that's the way it should be done I know you're probably thinking, well, I know that, I'm not stupid. But there's a lot of people, I say 70% of the time, we had a problem, we went out, and it was just that on the back of the television, the outer touching the inner, causing problems. Now, I'll just get back to this tape now. But also, it's about your, your cables, your television cable. If for some reason, you, you check that out, that's fine follow your cable where it goes through the wall if it's on the outside wall the cable check right up to the wall then go outside check the outside now you might find a cut in the cable where it's been rubbing against something or other my advice cut it off either side of the cut with your pliers peel the cable back either side like I've just shown you with that coaxial plug on the other end and you can get some things they're called just put that down a sec they're called F connectors right there's an F connector right so you want two of them one for either end voila and then a back to back for an F connector. Now this is the best way to repair a break in a cable. So I'll just do it quickly for you. I've already peeled this back to save time and the other side. But imagine that's the damaged cable, I've cut it back. That goes over that end. Just keep turning it. until you see the inner plastic which is that bit there you see that just coming through the hole at the bottom I don't know if you can see it but it, it's just coming through the hole there that's that one done it's a little it's a little bit long so I'll just cut it back like so I hope this is turning out all right. It doesn't look too good on this little screen. And um, exactly the same with the other side. Now I don't know how much these would be in a normal shop. Obviously Terry bought them in in like a hundred, you know. So, but if you want a good connection, please use these. And nip off again. Get your back to back, push it onto the inner core, screw it on, there's one side done, the other end of your cable, right, push that in, you hear a little click because sometimes they're a bit, well they're always a little bit hard to get in but they will clip in that inner cable's gone straight in there now and there's your joints right 
I'll just put that down a second. But obviously, that's outside. So what would you do? You'd get some uh, electrician tape, wouldn't you? Wrap it round. Well, no, this is where this stuff comes in. Self-amalgamating tape. As I say, it's got a backing on. Peel some off, about that much. Snap it off. It's always better to snap it off because the like hard plastic covering will come away from the, the rubber on the inside and just peel that off. Now that you think, well that's not much, but you stretch it then. It's like a silicone, this stuff, but it's, it's not sticky. You know, it won't stick to your fingers or anything. Now that is about twice the length it was, and it will go further up. Uh, look, I'm moving across, moving across, moving across. I'm just, oh, I can't reach. Look, there we go, there's the other end. Right, so it's easier doing it this, it's in my hand, but leave enough room. If that's coming down the wall, obviously pull the cable down and up. So you've got a bend in it, so it gives you a little bit of room. Start actually on the cable itself and twist. It's, I'm twisting the cable, obviously you wouldn't be able to do it, do that when it's all in situ, but it's just quicker doing it this way. You'd wrap it round. You drop the tape around the, the uh, F connector and the uh, back to back. Right, and you can just come back on it. You can keep stretching as you go here. I keep it, I think I keep going off the screen here because I'm looking at this and looking at the screen. But you'll have to, you get the general idea anyway. Now there is a proper joint. You'll have no problems with it. There's no loss on the signal or anything like that. Right? So that's the self-amalgamating tape. Right, just if you look here, by the way, this board I'm using, uh, I'll just show you this end of it. I used to do a bit of painting, so I made this board, MDF, piece of 3B, quote, uh, 3B three quarter inch, one end, and down this end, just a small piece, stop like paintbrushes rolling off and all that. I don't do it now, so I use it for doing these little videos. Uh, the paper on it is just, uh, oh, what is it, backing paper cost about 125 at all which is handy you can write down the side as I've done here right now this self amalgamating tape you can go online go on what is it wiki or whatever it's seamless I don't know how you can see this there you go it's seamless it's rubbery it sounds like Chinese chicken I don't know it's rubbery it's waterproof it's electrically insulating, it's heat, sunlight and weather resistant, right? And if you want to write it down, there it is, self-amalgamating tape. I'll leave that on a second so you can have a look. I think you can get it on uh, eBay as well. It's not cheap, it's about three, four the roll or something like that but you can you can see how good it is anyway i hope this has helped your lads out there sorry the lads out there and oh and the lasses <laughs> better be politically correct i hope it's helped and uh i'll see you soon hopefully take care bye for now